Now, we have made adjustments to the vertical curve, and as we've seen, as soon as we make changes to the scent line or the edge of bitumen of either of these two roads, the software will not automatically update our design for us. Now, it can be a case that we do want to have a value there of 5, but we want the software to continue to automatically connect up. What we suggest is actually making this change once you're pretty much finished with your design, meaning that you can come in and make the design change and let the software continue to use the value that you've assigned. If, however, you want the software to continually update the vertical curves, you can do this by clicking on the User Design button found on the ribbon of the Vertical Grading Editor. You'll see that when we click on that, Keep Internal Design has been checked. And this is basically saying that whatever we do with regards to either of the connecting road strings, the vertical geometry will not update. If you want it to update, you can check the automatic redesign button, click apply and exit. And on version 20.15 onwards, the software will automatically update the vertical grading editor and the drawing environment. Releases of the software prior to 20.15, you will need to close the vertical grading editor down and reopen to have this change refreshed on the screen. You'll notice that the auto design button has now been checked. Let's have a look at the cross section related to our curb return. So in the vertical grading editor, we're going to right click. This will generate a cross section window for us. I'm just going to move this down to one side. Make sure that the view of the cross section is comfortable. It is not sort of tight into one corner. You've got it at a reasonable scale. If you need to, go to the display tab and change the vertical exaggeration. One or two would certainly be a good value. And feel free to zoom and pan using your mouse wheel to get the view to a reasonable scale. In addition, we're going to go to the viewer settings button. Make sure that you have show code checked on. The others can be checked off. If you do have others checked on, you are more than welcome to keep them on if you wish. It's just to give it a bit of clarity in the cross-section window, but show code is on. What you'll notice is that we have all of the codes which the software has connected up with the auto template. And these are the codes that are represented on both of the road strings. In addition, we have a code called RDUM, and this has been added automatically by the software. I'm just going to move the cross-section window to one side and we're just going to go to the Home tab and just cycle through some of these cross-sections. Now at chain edge zero, and I'm going to zoom in whilst we do this and move my mouse left and right over the cross-section window, you'll notice that the RDUM code terminates at the crown of road one. As I cycle through my cross-sections, it continues to terminate at the crown of road one until we begin to get around the corner and it will now terminate at the edge of bitumen of existing road. The RDUM code performs two functions. One, to create a surface between the edge of bitumen and the center line of road one and the edge of bitumen of existing road. And two, to allow us to form subgrade underneath. Now, very shortly, we're going to look at how we can replace all of this and also change the subgrade that is put underneath the curb return. For the time being, close the cross-section window and close the vertical grading editor.